All right, guys, we're here in Oaxaca, Oaxaca, Mexico. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I came here for mainly two reasons. One, mezcal, all right, which is a type of spirit. You guys may have heard of tequila. Tequila is a type of mezcal. Tequila can only be made from blue agave, which is a plant. But um, mezcal can be made from all different types of agaves. And Oaxaca is known for it. And then the second thing I'm here for is mole, which I'm going to try right now. One thing that's popular here in Oaxaca, they eat grasshoppers. Now I'm not that adventurous, I'm not gonna mess with it. But if you are, here you go right here. A lot of people think Mexico, all the food's the same. If you're American, you probably think Mexican food is uh, nachos, tacos, and burritos. Now realizing that Mexico is a huge country and every region has their own style, their own twist own spices own just everything so don't get it twisted Me the mexican food the food in mexico is very very diverse all right think we made it let's try this all right it's like a restaurant and a chocolate spot hola buenas tardes Oh yeah. All right, let's do it, guys. Oh okay. Oh okay. Oh man, it's packed. Look at this. Must be a good spot if it's packed. All right, guys. Here goes the spot right here. She got the napkins. Here goes. They got like a little bar spot. And then I came here for one thing. And this right here, which is called uh, mole. They have different types of moles. It's very popular in Oaxaca. I think they have like seven different types. All right, they got like a, a red one, a green one. You just saw the dark one. All right, and this sauce is made with different chilies and, um, and spices. And I think one of the main ingredients here is the chocolate which gives it the color right here. So we're gonna try it out. All right, so remember I told you guys that they eat grasshoppers here. I was just informed this is grasshopper salsa, which is chapulín. I forgot what this is. I don't think I wanna know what this is. It might be mole, like a, it might be mole. But this is definitely grasshopper salsa. So we're gonna try it out. That's different. Just the spicy, but it's definitely different. I don't have the vocabulary to explain what this tastes like, but. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is mole? Mole, mole rojo. Oh, okay, mole rojo. Okay. All right, guys, so this is, uh, that's good. Let me move this. Mm. All right, so just inform, this is red mole. Red mole. Definitely taste the chocolate, the cacao. Yeah. Food just came here is what it looks like. I know it looks different than what you're used to. That's what it is. If it tastes anything like this one, I'm gonna enjoy it. We got my guacamole. I gotta get my, my, my well, this is a fruit. But I gotta get my fruits and vegetables in, so I got the guacamole. And then I got the sangria. definitely chocolate but it's not what you're thinking it's not like um some of you guys thinking like Hershey Snickers it's not that sweet but it's definitely chocolate We just saw how the chocolate's prepared, or how they prepare it. Now, uh, 
Man, I must say, the mole was delicious. Uh, yes, yeah, yeah, it was chocolate, but it definitely is very rich. So just keep that in mind. It's a very rich meal. My first couple hours in Oaxaca, I'm eating grass grasshopper salsa with chocolate chicken. It's crazy, man. Disculpe, busco Benito Juarez Mercado. Oh, is this it? Oh, okay. Okay, gracias. All right, here goes the market right here. Let's get up in here. Oh, uh, yeah. I think this is mole paste. If you want to bring some home and make it at home. Este vale cuánto? Tres pesos. Oh, tres pesos? Okay. Eh, let's, a ver. ¿Me regalas tres, por favor? Sí. ¿Quieres bolsa? A very popular drink called Tecate. I think it's an artisanal drink. And uh, yeah, ¿cuánto vale? Just solo un poquitito. 15 pesos. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Oh man, we we go we we going all in today. We just trying a little bit of everything. I just tried it. I'm 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 getting the impression that they love chocolate here. Definitely has a uh, slight like cacao flavor to it, kind of like the mole I just ate, but not as strong. Definitely a touristy city as well. I would say I've seen a lot of foreigners here. Look at that. I think we're heading to the maybe the Zocalo. Show you guys. It was cloudy earlier, but the sun sun's out now. Oh, we go, we go right side straight. I think uh, we'll go straight. Oh man, this is a huge Zocalo. All right, so you got that spot over there. All these people over here, a mixture of the locals and and foreigners. I'm gonna tell you this: one way you can tell who's a foreigner, who's not, is who's wearing a mask. Usually, a lot of the foreigners aren't wearing masks. We're here. This is the city I've been to, where everybody, pretty much everybody's wearing like a mask outside for the most part. You go to Guadalajara, nobody's wearing a mask. You go to Puerto Vallarta, nobody's wearing a mask. You go any of the beach towns, nobody's wearing a mask. Oh. There you go. I need to look for that uh, Zocalo sign. And the weather here, spectacular. Not too hot, not too cold. Sun's out, there's a little breeze. Everybody got there. Everybody's here dressed to impress. We got a photo shoot to the right. I guess this is a better uh, spot to take a show you guys this. Yep. Beautiful buildings and look at this. You don't really see any trash. So I guess the whole downtown area you could pretty much is walkable basically. So crazy coincidence when I was on the plane heading to Mexico City before coming here. The person sitting next to me was from Oaxaca. And they said, hey, you have to visit the Templo, I think it's the Santo Domingo, which I think is it right here. Whew. Had to climb up a little hill. But yeah, here we go right here for some of my history guys out there and gals. Yeah, I already could tell at night place is going to be packed. Uh, they may have a tour. You can do a walking tour. And then, uh, beautiful, man. I'm going to go ahead and head back to the room. Relax. And I'll probably come back here at night. Do not quote me on that. Well, actually, I am because I need to drink some mezcal. That's the second. I, the mole, I ate it already. Now, mezcal.